In this video, we'll give a proof of a generalization of Markov and Chebyshev's inequality. We'll start with the statement and then show the proof. So now for the statement. Let h be a non-negative function and x a random variable. For any a greater than 0, the probability that h of x is greater than or equal to a is bounded above by the expectation of h of x divided by a. So now for the proof, let's consider the event a that h of x is greater than or equal to little a. To do this, we'll consider the corresponding indicator variable. That's i sub a, which is going to be equal to 1 if the event a occurs and 0 otherwise. Okay. Now, let's express h of x in terms of whether the event a happens or not. So h of x is going to be greater than or equal to a times the indicator of a. And we can see how the statement is true by considering the values of the indicator. So if the event a doesn't happen, the indicator will be 0, and h of x will be greater than or equal to 0. This is true because h is non-negative. Now, if the event a does happen, then h of x will be greater than or equal to a, and that's simply the, the event a that we defined. Now, to make more progress, Let's take the expectation of both sides. So the expectation of h of x is greater than or equal to, so I'm going to pull out the a, and it's going to be the expectation of the indicator of the event a. Recall that the expectation of an indicator variable is equal to the probability of the event that it's indicating. We can see this again by recalling that if the indicator is 0, we don't worry about it, and if the indicator variable is 1, it's just going to be times the probability of the event occurring. Okay, so now you can see that the probability of h of x being greater than or equal to a is going to be bounded above by the expectation of h of x divided by a. And this is fine because we assume that a was greater than zero. Now, as an exercise, I want you to consider what h is necessary to show Markov's inequality and which h is necessary to show Chebyshev's inequality. And I hope this is a, a very useful exercise for you in order to see how these inequalities are related.